In this lecture, we'll be talking about two additional dplyr functions called mutate and transmute. As the names indicate, both of these are concerned with adding columns to an existing table or data frame. So let's jump right into an example. So here, first I'm creating a, a smaller data frame, which I'm calling flights underscore small. You could call it anything. Select from the flights table, select the columns year through day, the column columns whose names end with delay. So this we are using the ends with function to find out all the columns whose names end with delay, select them. We also want to select the distance column. It's one of the columns in the table. And finally, the air time column. So we are making a new data frame or new table called flights small with only this these, uh, this subset of columns. And then within the flight small table, what we are doing is we are going to create a new column within that. Okay, so flight small and we are saying gain, which is departure delay minus arrival delay. That is how much time did the flight make up during the flight, right? That is, let's say the departure delay was 30 minutes. The arrival delay was only 15 minutes. So the gain was 15 minutes. So that's what is that particular column. So we're creating a new column and another column called speed, distance divided by air time. And notice that uh, distance is in miles, but air time is in minutes, right? So you get miles per minute and you want to convert that into miles per hour. So we are multiplying by 60. So that's what's going on here. So here, this is how mutate works. You say mutate give the name of the table you're trying to mutate and then put the new column names and the expression for computing the columns. Okay. Now these expressions in this example are all based on columns that are in the table, but these can be any general expressions. After all, gain is supposed to be a vector with that many elements. So however you want to compute values for that particular column, feel free to do so. Most of the time, of course, we'll be computing uh, values for the new column based at least partially on existing columns as these examples show. Right, Gain is completely based on existing columns whereas speed is based on existing columns and a constant. So that's really how mutate works. So once again we re revisit the age-old question of does mutate add columns to the original? Now as I've already said none of the dplyr functions modify the original table in any way none of these functions. They don't modify the original table at all. All they do is produce a new table based on whatever criteria you have set. So for example, if you say select a certain set of columns, you're getting a new table with only those selected columns. If you say arrange, you're getting a new table with the data arranged in a certain order. If you say filter, you're getting a new table with only the uh, appropriate rows that are selected. Okay, so once again, mutate all, is also part of the same story. It doesn't really add anything to the original, but let's just verify it, right? Suppose I say dim, mutate, flight, small, gain, speed, etc. Okay, so now what happened was the original flight small had seven columns. We now added two new columns and therefore the result of this mutate is a table with nine columns and the same number of rows. But if you look at the dim flight small, the original one, that only has seven columns. Okay, so as a result of this mutate operation, nothing happened to flight small. Flight small remains as it was. We are just getting back a new table with two additional columns, which we can either operate on directly or we can assign to a new variable. Okay, in which case the new variable will contain a table with actually nine columns. Okay, so that's really what's going on nothing changes. And again, as I've already told you, uh, most of the time what we'll be doing is we'll be processing something, creating a result, passing it on to another uh, dplyr function or ggplot or something, and then so on. So we'll be performing operations in a chain fashion, and therefore we will usually not tend to assign the results of an operation to any variable. Instead, we'll directly pass it on to another dplyr function, and we will be doing that using this feature called pipes, which I have not discussed yet. We'll be discussing it uh, shortly. Okay, 
So I just want to give you an idea of how these things work. So you might be wondering why are you doing all this and not assigning the result to anything. You could assign the result to something but our style of programming will be we won't do that. Instead we'll just pass it on on a chain of commands. Mutate has this convenient feature that while you're performing the mutating you can refer to the new columns that you're creating. In other words as part of the mutate I create one column and when I'm creating the second column I can actually refer to this first column that we've created. Let's look at an example to make things clear. So here I'm saying mutate flight small and as usual we are calculating gain is departure delay minus arrival delay okay which is uh, the amount of time that you gained during flight and hours is air time divided by 60 how many hours were spent in the air and now we are talking about gain per hour okay and here notice this expression gain divided by hours so we are directly referring to the two new columns that we just are creating as process of this mutate itself okay so that's a nice convenient feature that you don't have to do the first two things the gain hours and then come back again and do the gain per hour you're allowed to refer to these things directly which is a really nice convenience feature there's another function called transmute and the main difference between the two the only difference between the two is that transmute only retains the newly created columns and whatever else you mentioned in the transmute whereas if you remember mutate only added the new columns that you just created the original columns were still there it only adds new columns whereas transmute is used to keep only the new columns and forget about the old columns so if you did transmute gain equals uh, again this should be departure delay minus arrival delay and then hours is at time divided by 60 gain per hour is this right so you have this and the result is going to contain only those three columns. Now again I just might point out this should not be arrival delay minus departure delay it should be departure delay minus arrival delay okay but what you're seeing here is you're seeing only the newly created referred columns here only these three columns that are actually referred to in transmute whereas if we just jump back to mutate notice that mutate also we were only creating three new columns but all the old columns showed up as well. That's the difference between mutate and transmute. Okay, it keeps only the columns that are mentioned in the transmute. So which doesn't mean that you can only keep the columns that you have newly created. If you want to along with that also retain some existing columns you can do that. So for example I'm saying gain is again it this should be departure delay minus arrival delay hours is air time divided by 60 gain per hour is something and I'm just including departure time okay I'm not making any changes to departure time but I want that to be part of the new uh, table that I create so I just mention it okay so notice now the departure time is also included right? so this is very convenient often what we want to do is you've got a table you want to create some new columns and then you want to create a smaller table with just the new columns and some older columns existing columns and then you want to do some further processing and therefore transmute is better rather than do a complete mutate and carry along this big table so as after all when you're working with very large tables these things can have efficiency impacts if you're keeping on creating copies large copies of the same table over and over again uh, there could be some memory issues so this is a quite a convenient uh, feature really okay so you can add in some existing columns as well 